Hello everyone, welcome back to the Halo Collective as we go over the Prophet's Bane, which we all got to see within Halo 3 and now we get to use in Halo 5. The only difference in the Halo 3 section of it was that it looked like a regular blade. However, it has had a lot of changes from Halo 3 all the way over to Halo 5 and the canon behind it all is very interesting, so let's go over it. First off, let's actually go over the summary of Prophet's Bane as brought to you by the Halo Waypoint Universe entry. Sanghili stories of war and righteous slaughter rarely mention the hero's panoply, for such mundane details are beneath the notice of clan historians and tale weavers. Particularly in the Covenant era, where Sanghili were fitted with mass produced armor and weapons built in the labyrinthine assembly forges of high charity. The particulars of the weapons carried in their history were not worthy of attention or reflection. Those few items which reflect the glory of their user are rare indeed. Weapons and armor which come to be recognized as more than tools, as possessing the heart of a warrior, however small, are highly treasured and stored away. A reservoir of glory and honor that can be redeemed in times of great need. The Arbiter's Chosen Blade is one such artifact, an ancient blade taken from his clan's vaults and given new life, new purpose, and new foes to slay. Old name of the blade was told in stories and song dating to before the writ of the Union, but the Arbiter took the unusual step of reforging the weapon, preserving its honor and history, but changing its destiny overall. While the weapon was repaired and regrown in the traditional manner and his clan's forge, the Arbiter insisted on incorporating components of the energy sword that took the lifeblood of the Prophet of Truth on the Ark. Sanghili relic weapons are never named by their wielder. They must acquire an identity from fearful whispers and roaring shouts. But it was not long before the Arbiter's Blade was known across Sanghili space as an instrument of change and self-determination. A true inheritor of the original swords of Sanghelios, and so it is that Thelvadam, who bears the titles of Kaiden, Arbiter, Supreme Commander, Judge, Traitor, and Leader, wields the Prophet's Bane, and soon, perhaps, the end of the Covenant. Now that we've actually gone over the official summary of the Prophet's Bane on Halo Waypoint, we can actually go over my thoughts on it and other things that might be of interest. Its ancient name, before it was known as the Prophet's Bane, was the End of Night. However, the Prophet's Bane took form of its new name as soon as the Arbiter, or Thelvadam, went back to his keeps, forge, and treasury, took this ancient relic, took the sword that he had used, which we've all seen in Halo 3, combined the two into the Prophet's Bane we have now, and so it earned its new name. However, just like what was previously mentioned in the actual summary, Sanghili don't name their own weapons. The weapons are usually named by fellow Sanghili who look onto these weapons as legends and as things to fear and hope for. So when it comes down to the Prophet's Bane, as soon as he made this sword, it seems that a lot of people had quickly taken up arms into making the new name for the sword, the Prophet's Bane, especially because it has a lot of the same technology used within the actual energy sword in which killed the Prophet of Truth. As we all know, it's a pretty famous cutscene and it signified that the Sanghili would in fact work with the humans till the very end. Then, of course, you know, not all the Sanghili wish to work with the UNSC and the UEG. However, the Swords of Sanghelios did, and they kept their word, in which we've also seen in Halo 5. How this wonderful ancient relic actually matters in Halo 5 is that during the campaign, you can see Thel wielding it. Its handle is in the shape of old school swords, which actually protected the hand, sort of like rapiers, as well as the blade itself taking a shape in which is not common with energy swords. I guess that the Prophet's Bane is also a symbol of the Swords of Sanghelios as much as their emblem is. And when it comes down to 
that sword, the sword is also used in multiplayer. Overall, as of right now, statistics say that the Prophet's Bane has only been used in Warzone eight times. Eight times! So that means it's incredibly rare. So if you get that thing, I, I, would, I would say to use it. However, because it's so rare, I bet you you're just going to keep on doing it. Rub that sword against your body and just en enjoy its bleeding. It, it is, it is, you can't rub it against you. It's going to it hurt you really. Re it, it'd kill you, okay? It wouldn't hurt you, it'd kill you. Don't listen to what I'm saying. Do not rub the Prophet's Bane across your body. That's not okay. And you know what? While we're on the topic of things that aren't okay, Tyler went into the office's fridge, the digital fridge in which we use to store all our food. Yes, we discovered how to compose things. But in this fridge, I distinctly put a water bottle. And this water bottle distinctly said my name on it, okay? My name was on it, it was fine, everything was gonna go good. Then he comes in, takes it, drinks it, walks out, and then stares me in the eye and says, you're fired. And then he just walks away. This is not okay. This is not okay. I do a lot of work here, even though I just barely started making videos and I I didn't really do too much of video editing before. But you know what? I do a lot. I do a lot. And because I do a lot, fuck you, Tyler. That was my water bottle. And because it was my water bottle, you can go to hell. However, because now that the rant's over, we can get back to business. When it comes down to the Prophet Bane. Did I say the Prophet Bane? I did. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna end this video here because this has already gone to hell. If you want to stay up to news for on anything and everything Halo, be sure to subscribe to the Halo Collective. You know what? I even messed up the outro. You know what? Fuck this.